Alexandria Fragrances has done it again. They've released a fragrance that's a clone of a fragrance that I really enjoy, and they've gotten close. It's not perfect, but they've gotten close, and it's much cheaper, a much cheaper alternative. And when it comes to the quality and the price affordability of them, I often tell people, you can't compare it to what you could buy it for off some random website or what you could buy it for from some random person selling it in a group. You got to compare it to what the average person, the guy who's watching this video, would pay for it. And this next fragrance definitely beats the price of what the average person would pay for it if they went buy it. Stay tuned. What's going on everybody? My name is Joshua and this is our channel, Scent Sense. To all the loyal subscribers who continue to check in with me every single day and were probably worried about me and thought I fell off the face of the planet, I'm back again and I thank you so much. And to all you new people who are adding to the analytical data that shows that a large majority of people who watch aren't subscribed, why don't you subscribe? It's free, it doesn't hurt you, and if you decide you're not cool with it anymore, you can always unsubscribe. I do hope you enjoy the video, so stick around. Today we'll be talking about a fragrance that is a clone, alternative, dupe, an imitation or inspiration of a fragrance that I hold very near and dear in my heart. I love this fragrance. I think it's like the ultimate Aventus killer, as I said in the past from an older video. I'll put it right here. And it's also my dad's favorite fragrance. He's gotten lots and lots of compliments sometimes from women that shouldn't be giving him compliments in the way they did, which pissed off my mom, but my mom's territorial, you know how that goes. From the house of bond number nine, scent of peace for man. I don't know if you can pick this up in the camera, but there's only about this much juice in the bottle. Maybe if I turn it sideways, you can see not a whole lot left. I've been burning through this bad boy. So I'm very welcoming to this fragrance because I want to know more about this one and I'm definitely gonna wear it more often. I have tried it out a few times, enough to kind of get a grasp of what I think about it, but I'll let you know more and more as I've worn it. I'll let you know in the future. Maybe I'll think it's better, maybe I'll think it's worse, I'll get different reactions, I'll let you know. So let's pop this bad boy open, and let's talk about, from the house of Alexandria Fragrances, peace of mind. So you see what they did there, right? Set of peace, peace of mind. Clever, clever, Hanny, clever. I like it. So their description of the fragrance is fruity, sweet, and green. And for the most part, I do agree. But let's go ahead and spray this in the air so I can get a good memory of what it smells like, a fresh, you know, nose whiff, if you will, so we can discuss it further. So before we jump into that, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you how I'm going to judge this fragrance and tell you what I ultimately feel about it. I'm not gonna judge presentation because every interpretation dupe or clone house, whether it's Dua, Genre, Alexandria, Parfums Vintage, they use stock bottles. They use bottles that they buy in a large quantity. Some of them are better than most. Some of them are better than the others. I think that this one's right up there with Parfums Vintage, right next to Genre, better than Dua, but they're pretty much all the same, right? Same sticker with a little bit of change to it. Maybe the color of the juice is a little different, but for the most part, same cap, same bottle, same stem, same clamp on, it's the same thing. So I'm not gonna really judge the presentation because I can't judge it against any other clone from the line. They're all pretty much the same. I'm gonna go ahead and judge this fragrance in three categories. Quality, performance, and wearability. Quality, how close is it to the original? Is it Close enough for me to think that I could substitute the, the original for this? Is it uh, good enough to get me by until I can get a new bottle? Or is it not close at all? Performance, you know the status quo. Longevity, projection, scent cloud, compliments, that whole thing. How does it perform? And lastly, but not least, would I buy it? Is this something that I would buy? Is this something that I would not buy? And the only reason why I have it is because it was free. That is mainly what I'm gonna get with that. This is the ultimate deciding factor of what I think about this fragrance. So jumping right into it, let's talk about quality. Out of the opening of this fragrance, you're gonna get a very, very sharp, slightly messy smell. It's not going to smell exactly like a sense of peace. 
centerpiece also has a slightly messy opening, but this is a little more metallic. This is cheaper smelling, but that's because it's an alternative. If it smells exactly like it, then you probably wouldn't buy the original. I think that this is a great alternative. Uh, after about 15 to 20 minutes of it sitting on your skin, it tends to mellow down and get really close to the original. I'm not gonna give you like some kind of percentage, but I will say that it's pretty darn close. You can definitely smell a, a slight difference. Uh, if you have a developed nose, you'll definitely notice a difference. But if you were to buy this for a friend or family member who is not a big time fragrance connoisseur, but wants a Bond number no. nine fragrance, they'll think that this is literally just that bottled in here. They won't know the difference. Now I wanna dispel this myth that a lot of people talk about. This is just my opinion on this. They'll say, oh, well, it doesn't smell that good right now, but you gotta let it macerate. You gotta put it in a dark place and let it sit there for a while or put it in a damn blender or shake it a lot. Or they'll come up with all these myths and ideas of how to make it smell better. In my opinion, that's all bull crap. When Handy makes this stuff, he mixes it, he blends it. When any of these people who make these fragrances, they mix them and they blend it and then they have to macerate them before they even hit your door. If they send it to you way too early, then whatever they gave you is not quality, it's crap. Because now you're not getting what the finished product is supposed to be. So if you have to wait for it to macerate, then in my opinion, you shouldn't even have bought it. So what I'm saying when I say that is, is this one does not smell like it needs to macerate longer. It smells like it's intended to smell a close alternative to Bond Number no. 9's Scent of Peace. So on an overall score scale of one, meaning it's absolute trash, it smells nothing like the original, it's garbage, it's piss water, to 10, just throw the original away, this is just as good if not better, it smells identical, oh my God, did they bottle Bond Number no. 9 Scent of Peace, and are they losing money astronomically? That would be a 10. I would give this fragrance like a seven and a half. Now you're probably thinking seven and a half is not really that high. I think it's pretty darn high, especially for a clone fragrance. I definitely don't think you should go out and buy this if you have a massive collection and you just wanna get rid of Scent of Peace or you don't wanna buy it because you just think that this is gonna be a dead ringer, that's wrong. If you're looking for an alternative to it because you don't wanna buy Scent of Peace for men and you haven't been able to get your hands on it or someone you know really likes your Scent of Peace and you wanna get it for a gift for them, this is perfect for that. Next up is Performance. This is an Extrait de Parfum. This is a super concentrated version of the original. It's a higher uh, oil concentration ratio. This is not Eau de Parfum or Eau de Toilette. This is Extrait, so it's super strong. Be careful spraying it on your clothes, especially if you spray it close. It is Extrait, so it's got a high oil content and it could maybe stain your clothes. This is something meant to spray you know, a little bit further away from the skin, you know, not like on top of it, like you, you know, <clears throat> are trying to be crazy or something. This is definitely a strong performer. This is a heavier, denser alternative to Scent of Peace. I think that this will last a very long time for you. The average time that it lasts for me was somewhere between seven and eight hours, but that's also because I was wearing it in an air controlled environment, you know, in my home, on quarantine, if I went outside, it was in the sun for a little while. It did get brighter, it did project, but this was not performance on an everyday wear. In other words, normal life. I don't know anyone who has normal life right now, so that's kind of hard to judge, but based off of what I could do, easily seven to eight hours. When it comes to getting out in heat, when it gets comes to being in the sun, direct heat, this definitely projects very strong. This is a definitely a room filler. This is something that will literally encapsulate you in a scent cloud. This is an attention grabber, much like most of Bond number no. nine scents. So if you're looking for something like that, that's at a much cheaper price than the MSRP of a normal, regular, run-of-the-mill cost bottle of Bond number no. nine, easily gonna work for you in that category. As far as sillage, like I said, if it's filling up a room, it's gonna fill up the room as you pass through. This is an attention grabber. This is like a, oh my God, who just walked by kind of fragrance. It's going to do that, but that's what the original did. So it does encapsulate that perfectly. As far as compliments, yes, my wife thinks it smells great. Yes, my dad wants to get a bottle because he doesn't wanna to have to buy Sense of Peace anymore. He really enjoys it. So yes, it definitely works, but I haven't had enough time outside, out and about, around other people, shopping, you know, 
going to my daily job, going around people. So once I get that, I'll definitely let you know. But overall, from a one to a 10 on performance, I would give this about an eight and a half. The important question is, would I buy this? That's a weighted question. If you were to ask me at my current collection state, how many I own, how many I have, would I buy it? No. Why? Because I already own Sense of Peace. I don't wear it nearly as much as I used to. It's not something I grab all the time. And because I have so much of a small amount of juice, I use it sparingly. And being that I have a free bottle, I'm gonna be straight with you, I don't have a need to buy one. Having said that, if I was a person who had 30 to 50 bottles, maybe even a few more, and I didn't have Sense of Peace, but I really wanted to get it, and I didn't wanna risk buying it from a gray market dealer, or I didn't wanna risk buying it from somebody on a Facebook group who would send me a bag of beans like somebody recently got sent in one of these groups, I would definitely grab this. It's super cheap, super affordable, and there's always discount codes. I'm sure I'll even get one. It'll be somewhere on the screen right here. If I don't, you're just gonna see me point to nothing. If you were looking for a gift for someone and you wanted to buy them a fragrance, so you decided you wanted to buy something that would be better quality or more of a special smelling fragrance than the average run of the mill that you would have access to, and you wanted to get them something that's affordable, this is easily reachable. If you have a friend who's starting to get into fragrance and they need you know, stepping stones, building blocks, fragrances to build their collection and learn more about fragrances, this would be a great alternative. I really believe that clones are an entryway for a lot of people who don't have a lot of fun. So in that aspect, in that instance, I would say yes, I would buy it then. On a scale of one to 10, one being I would never buy this crap, it's horse piss, or 10 being I would go buy this in droves, I wanna own 25 bottles of it, and I'm going to buy it as soon as I get done with this video. I would say I'm somewhere around a seven on this one. Overall score is somewhere around an eight. I definitely think that this is something that would be a great purchase for you if you have those certain criteria that I discussed before. Alexandra Fragrances has a lot of great options out there. White Zest, Zion, Bitter Soft. There's lots of awesome fragrances and I think that this one will rank somewhere in that 10 to 15 range of top 10 to 15 fragrances from Alexandria. So I think that this is a great option for you, you if you have those criteria that I mentioned. But if you're a big time fragrance collector, don't buy this. If you're somebody who already has Centipede, don't buy this. If you're looking to help somebody out, buy it. If you're looking for a great gift, buy it. If you're a newer collector, definitely buy it. If you're interested in this fragrance and any other fragrances from the brand, go to www.alexandriafragrances.com and let them know I sent you. If you made it to this point of the video, I assume you like it. If not, you've either fast forwarded or you just like to hurt yourself. You're a glutton for punishment. You like to watch crap you just don't like. That's weird. You should check on that. If you did like it, go ahead and just subscribe. It's easy to unsubscribe if you change your mind, but while you're at it, click the notification bell. That way when my videos come out, you will be the very first to know. And as always, and most importantly, I'll smell each and every one of you later. Peace.